All right, guys. So this is uh, my project for the next few days. I've got to rebuild this guy. <coughs> Excuse me. Gonna be replacing the section of floor. They want to reuse or continue using this um, front edge here, so I'll be cutting it off by here to about 20 inches back that way. Replacing that and then replacing these sides as well, right here. And I got some three quarter inch um, AR material. All this is gonna be AR, but I've got some more that I'm gonna be replacing it with sides as well. I'll be cutting all this off all back here. Nice little project, haven't done one in a while. So um, hopefully you guys will dig it and see the process. It's really not that tough, it's just a lot of work. So hang tight. All right, so now I got this bucket flipped over and I can see where I'm gonna be needing to cut. I'm gonna be replacing the bottom section right around here. And cut this guy right through here. I like to do this. I most likely do this with a plasma cutter. And then just wash that weld straight through along this cutting edge. They're going to save this um, edge here. They're not going to replace that. And I uh, forgot to get take that off. But anyway, I'm going to cut it right around in here up to a certain point. I'm, I'll mark a line with a string or so. And I'm not actually going to cut that just yet. I will wait till I have my new piece already made. And that way I can clean all these edges up and I lay it on the inside and mark exactly where it sits so there's not any unnecessary gaps. So that's the next step with that. <clears throat> and then with these things, I'm going to be cutting this way, this weld, I'm going to be cutting it off like that. And that way these sides come off. Uh, Pretty straightforward, I guess. I mean, I've done these before, so it's not that big a deal. That, uh, I'm excited. I haven't done one in a while, maybe about three years. So, it's time to get after it. All right, we'll see you guys. Okay, so I've been cutting some of these sides off. 
and uh, pretty straightforward. You put some braces, you know, keep it from opening up, and uh, use the plasma cutter here. But what I'd like to do is try and cut it with a plasma cutter in a way that you can see the separation line of the two materials. Maybe you just take a piece of pliers and wiggle those loose. Uh, of course, it won't do it now, but you know, once I do that all the way around, it's a lot easier and a lot quicker than, than trying to gouge uh, this outside weld and then trying to gouge this inside weld. And so here, I'll just do the same thing. I'll get a little closer to this parent metal back here, and then you'll start seeing the separation line, and this whole ring should almost come right off. Uh, this will take a little bit of a more cleanup work. This is coming off. Uh, these are these corners here are always tough because they're only welded on here and here and here they're not welded but um, you know I'll clean this up here as well and there's a support triangle gusset some kind of gusset in there I'll have to either cut around that or cut it off one of the two and the same with this uh, piece of um, edge I guess and we're gonna be doing away with this side cutter uh, mount you know as a side cutter goes here they don't use it and so the the um this piece here will taper from about four inches here roughly to about nine inches across here so it'll be a nice straight edge this way and then this edge this way and so once i clean all that up and put this piece back on i'll actually leave this side of the the plate here kind of wild and in, in the sense that it'll be bigger than i need and being that this will be a nice clean edge I'll just butt the plate up to here and it'll overhang wild long this way and which will be fine because then I can just come back this way with a plasma cutter and uh, just cut you know uh, maybe a shoulder I don't know if it's a shoulder but whatever the, the width of the plasma cutter nozzle is and then just clean all that up with a you know sanding disc and it'll be done so it's a little easier that way than to try and get a pattern for this and it just takes too much time so this is just a little bit faster and a little easier so i still need to get that other side off and we're getting close this piece here i cut out the center roughly a little bit short i'm actually this is going to be roughly about 20 inches from here to about here but once i cut the new sheet i'm going to butt it up to this edge here and then let it overlap and i'll mark a direct line according to the sheet and then we'll make another nice cut that it so it'll fit perfectly and this here i'm going to cut with the uh, cutting disc to get this layer off of here you can kind of see the separation line right in here already so peel that off with you know some wedges or something you know hammer or chisel and then lay that new sheet in this area and start tack 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 tacking it and most likely i'll trim this piece afterwards I'll leave it a little bit long that way nice continuation this way and the same thing over there and then just glue it all back together so it's uh, not hard work I think I already said it but it's just a lot of work that's pretty straightforward though kind of neat so I hope you guys are learning something from it oh one last thing I don't know if you guys remember but uh, through Instagram this is a weld here I actually had to narrow this whole bucket. I narrowed it 15 inches, so I took seven and a half inches out of that side and seven and a half out of this side. And uh, they wanted it to fit inside a, they wanted it to fit inside a specific hopper size. So just needed to narrow it a bit and it worked. And I ended up cutting this guy right here as well. And we cut it in a manner, oops, sorry, cut this guy right here. And we cut it in a manner that you could still add this, uh, this cutter down here in this edge and it was just and all I had to do was cut this side down so all the bolt holes remained the same except for this was a perfect spot to cut it at so in case you guys ever need to do that it's easy to do also just weld it around the outside perimeter and that's where I cut it it's a cut there and here's the weld all the way around so anyway uh, I guess stay tuned for more progress. Later.
All right, so <clears throat> I think I skipped a couple of spots, but uh, I did some scarfing. Got that bulk of that piece there off of this is that hard edge on the side. I don't know what it's called, but uh, this piece that goes right in here, and then the plate goes right behind it. So here I use the torch. Now I cut this way. That way I could see the separation line between those two pieces. And it was, of course it was welded on both sides. So then uh, I did that on both ends, this way and this way. And then when I got pretty close to the separation line, you could kind of see where it was coming apart. In some spots I could pry off and some parts I, I had to run the torch in this direction. And believe it or not, it heated up just the piece that was left over. And I was able to follow that line real nice and close all the way down. And so here, <clears throat> cut a section of that uh, wear plate right in the center. And uh, this was my baseline mark there. And then this actually, I accidentally cut it on a small taper. So I had to cut the plate to fit that small taper as well. And uh, I just put this piece up here a second ago. There used to be some bolt-on, um, some a cast piece that was welded to this piece for some side cutter uh, side cutters onto here but they really don't use that so I decided to just create this whole end right here and this here a little bit taller I'm probably gonna put some hard surfacing right on here anyway on these corners there's a bucket I um, rebuilt oh, a few years ago I already noticed that these parts are getting rounded off even though that this is AR so I'll build these up beforehand right here and here, put little square lines. And the purpose of that, if you don't know, is to catch like uh, pockets of sand or dirt in between there and it creates like a cushion and it'll slide right over and it protects the end of the metal. I may do it up here, maybe about a foot or so because I noticed the other one started wearing only about this far. So after this part here, what's gonna happen here is instead of trying to trace out this whole side to get it exactly right i'm just going to measure out a piece from here to here maybe it out about another two inches or so and just make sure that i have enough and i just butt up a straight flat piece against here and it'll be it'll be wild uh, in a sense in that it'll be bigger and once i tack it and weld it all up i can then just go back here and put my either my plasma cutter or the torch head and just cut out the perimeter here and it'll have a nice little lip all the way around nice and even and I just grind it up and clean it up did the same thing with this here left it long <clears throat> what I think I might do is I might do a kind of an interesting turn here maybe create a loop a lifting eye or something or I don't actually know just to kind of help carry the bucket next time they they need to pick it up they can just put some chain uh, shackles or so in that area and uh, I guess that's pretty much it for now. I'll be uh, continuing on. I've got this piece to put up here in a second. So maybe I'll videotape that and uh, let you guys see that. So it's getting there. It's been kind of an off and on kind of project. It's uh, been called out for different jobs and just one of those things that's hard to keep up with everything. So I'm getting real close. So once I put that end on, cap it off well 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 may not be done in another uh, half a day or so or maybe a full day it's got long welds there got a weld underneath the bottom side and then the back over here has got some cracks as well right there that those are some deep cracks this is inch and a half thick so i have to gouge all that and uh, fill it in same thing over here so a little bit of work ahead of me not too terribly bad now once i do all the top stuff i'll flip it over and then weld all the bottom things uh, I'm going to be adding some material, <coughs> some material. This is, uh, the cutting edge actually goes a little bit lower than this, about an inch, I guess. And so I want to create a pad back here. I'm going to add to the back pads back here so that the blade actually scrapes the ground flat, flat. Because most of the times these heels are too far back, uh, lean back in a sense. And uh, you wear the heels out before you get the tip of the blade. So at least now they'll always be sharp and be able to uh, scrape the ground flat, flat. So, I guess, stay el tundo. Stay tuned. Almost there. Sorry I missed so much uh, in videoing. But uh, I'll try and video the rest of this and hopefully get a good idea as to how to do one of these. All right, hang tight.
It's not the best, but it works. Maybe that's like a 516 single pass, I guess, maybe. Eh. It'll do. 